Daisy, you in there? Dad wants us. Hi, uh, give me a minute. Okay? Yeah. Dad wants us upstairs, you, me, Howard, no kids, no spouses. Oh, um, okay, uh, just, um, just hang on, hang on. I seem rational, right? Other than locking your brother in the bathroom with you? Yeah, but, I mean, I seem really lucid, wouldn't you say? I mean, like, the whole weekend. Mm, just got here last night. Sorry, I'm kidding. Uh, you seem fine. Okay, good. Because I'm about to tell you something crazy sounding. Daisy. Jared, Howard's kid? I know who Jared is. He's planning on murdering the next door neighbors. Oh, Christ, what? I dropped an acrylic nail behind the bar. I was on the floor looking for it, and I, um, I, uh... <clears throat> anyway, I, I heard Jared, and he was on his phone. And he couldn't see me, but I, I heard him, and he said, I have my grandpop's Colt 1911 and enough rounds to take out the entire Feeney family. Jared is an idiot. He said what this town needs is a spree killing. It's teenage humor, okay? That's how they all talk. But the Colt 1911, as opposed to, like, the Smith & Wesson, I mean, the specificity of it, you see what I'm saying? No. We need to call 911. All right, let's see something, say something, right? Daisy. Did you take your closet in today? Yes. All right, this is not crazy Daisy, all right? See? Saturday's still there. Oh. You open that for me. Jared is weird. He's always been very weird. You know that. They're all weird, Daisy. You've just got to... Do you remember Mr. Fluffo? Yeah, that's ancient history. Jared was... He was seven years old, yes. But torturing animals is a marker. So is pyromania and bedwetting. Jared was three for three. Oh, Christ, here we go. It's the sociopathic triad, all right? And now he's all grown up, and he's going to go murder the neighbors. Daisy, stop. Think about what happened at Christmas. Think about what happened at Aunt Lucy's funeral. Christmas, I was on the wrong meds. This is a different thing. You always say this is different, but the fruitcake was not poisoned, and Aunt Lucy was not screaming from inside her car. Yes, yes, I know all of that now. And Jared is not a spree killer. Not yet. You need to talk to Howard. Hey, Dad is upstairs literally dying right now. You want the last thing he sees to be the SWAT team and the News 5 crew on the front lawn? So I'm just supposed to let Jared slaughter the neighbors so we don't upset Daddy? He made me a promise, Daisy. Okay, look. I know that I have often been wackadoodle, but I know in my gut... You promised me that you would trust me the next time I told you it was the crazy. This is it. Okay, Daisy? This is the crazy. But it's not, though. No. Sometimes I hate being your brother, you know that? Because you're the girl who cries wolf every fucking time! Don't yell at me. I, I, what, I guess I'll just, I'll just shut up then. Thank you. You know how that story ends? Please. With a whole lot of dead sheep. Because there really was a wolf. And so what if this is our wolf, Rupert? What if Jared is our wolf? 